É. You know what I did with that uh, freeze dried? David Lopez, bro. This rain. Yeah, it has. He's right. You're right, David. <coughs> yes, sir. It's been really good rain. Windy. Wasn't it windy, though? Good morning. Yeah, the stream, the stream quality may not be that good. I want to go outside, pick out my plants. I got my list, I got my list drawn up. <clears throat> not too long of a list. Somebody asked for something extra. Guy asked for something extra. I'm trying to throw it in for sure, because he's, he's late. I'm late on the order, like 10 days. I think they ordered on like the 24th or something. I just saw a little, a little documentary about how recycling is a scam. I always knew that was a scam. They got you like a damn raccoon in the trash can, sifting through when they, all they do is export it to some other country and brokers export it to some other country and dump it. Come on, Rex. Come on. It gets dumped over there in the Asian Ocean. Come on. Rex, come. Rex, come. Let's go outside. Get your ball. Oh, shit. Tell him to get his ball. He'll go. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. Yo. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Morgana. Morgana. I don't know how to say your name. Who's we'll call you Morgan? Did that work? There we go. All right. I don't know where Clark found this this frisbee. I've got this one from Tractor Supply, and then he got his good one, his Chuck It. Come on, buddy. Let's go to the greenhouse, dude. He chews himself raw, but he's getting better. I'm on top of his chewing problem. It's nice and cool out. It definitely feels like spring. I would say it's a, been pretty cold for how hot it is. Patanga tuba flowering over here in the bushes. Pretty little flower. Smells really good. These are great. There you go, little buddy. <laughs> he went, he ran the wrong way. Thanks, appreciate that. Yeah, I love Rex. He's about eight years old by now. And he looks pretty good for an older guy. Yeah, his mouth isn't too gray yet. And he's pretty active. And he doesn't have those 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 things they get on their elbows when they get older. They get these like calluses on their elbows when they get older. And his haven't got too bad yet. Which is, it's a good sign. He's like a car. And for a used car, he's got low mileage. Oh, he's still spry. He's like eight years old, I think, by now. And I, it's so sad they get old so fast. Uh, I, I even forgot what I'm doing. We're just looking around. I got to go ship these orders. We're going to have this fruit for sale soon over here. This is a, a, the lemon drop mangosteen. It's a Garcinia. It's related to the mangosteen, which is an Asian fruit. 18 years old. Holy shit. Look at this bird over here. It's my friend. It's Peach White Owl. You sit down like this and she'll come running over to you. Yes, come get me. Rex will ruin it, though. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yes. Yes. Come here. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. You want to come work with me? We'll take you to the greenhouse. 
You just go quick again now? Come here. Uh, this should be too much work to take her with me, but I did want to. I like to sit with her for a little bit. She growls at everything when she snuggles. She'll be like, arr, arr. every little motion that comes by, she growls at it. Doesn't she? You're a growler. A good healthy chicken is gonna smell like chicken feet. Oh, Clark with the throw. Clark's out here working. Oh, uh, I'm gonna ship out these plants. They're just doing a live strizzle. Drop it. Drop it. Uh, into the woods. The wind got behind it. Probably not. It's all simple shit. Catly guava. Come on, Rex. On Rex, on Rex, on Rex. No, I don't grow much regular fruit. Nope. Just weird shit. That's where the money's at for me. This is some weird ass guava. Slim leaf guava is what they call it. Sidium sessiliflor. I don't even know the, the stridliatlum. I, I don't know the scientific name. I always have, forget it, but it's a rare guava. Well, ho hopefully it tastes any good. Sorry if my stream quality sucks. We had some viewers at one point. Then oh, then they 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 dropped off. I guess the stream kind of sucks. It's like, it's like you know what do you call it? Through a potato. Streaming through a potato. Hot potato. Well, it looks good in here. Clark's been watering really well. He's got that down to a science. Some random Java Kava. Yeah, I guess my stream quality sucks. Ah. Ah. It's the the problem with me is my location is out like in the sticks, and we have really bad reception. So it just doesn't matter what I do. I have to pre-record it, or just stream at certain times of the day when it's not as busy. Stream is pretty good. Oh, okay, people just don't give a fuck about me is the problem, which is fine. I don't care about them either. <laughs> Whatever. Assholes. So wait, someone asked for some of these seeds over here. This is Sidium. No, no, come on now. What do you call these guys? Help me out. Eugenia Ligastrina. They're not quite ripe, but I'm going to eat them anyway. Get a potato, eat a java, plant it. Yes. So this guy, I'm late on shipping his order, and he asked for some seeds of this, I think. I don't think I can send the fruit. It's probably some state where I can't send the fruit, but I'll eat these and get the seeds out. And send them seeds. Five ligastrina seeds extra for that with that guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at this little, uh, I guess that's a watermelon jabo that's grafted coming out. Did some little tiny grafts. Looks like some are taking. Okay, I came over here to get some of these. Have a great day. Thanks, Shh, out of luck. I'm going to get some of these plants over here for this order. Let's take a look. We got a bunch of Sanfords. I need to list some of these on the website. What I do is I pull them out and separate them. My grandma goes to the trash to see, and I'm 40 years old. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, these are the RDPs. When I sold some RDP plugs, and when we sell them as plugs and I don't have the plugs, I take them out of these pots and separate them. What I need to do is find something to lay them down on. Let's see if I can get a tray. I need something to put them on where they won't fall apart. What I really should have done is brought out my plastic and wrapped them out here. 
Because it's still a possibility. I just don't want to walk back to the house. I need a nice clean something to put them on or in. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Huh. Huh. Perfect. I want to say thanks to everybody who's here watching. You really pulled through for me. Part of the freaking team. There is no I in team. Hey, Bell, my moderation station. You ready to get crazy with that monkey wrench? Sanford's. Okay. Let's do this. How many of these do we need? Let's see. I need. These are the Rosa de Pescos in the house. I need one, two, three. Three Rosa de Pescos. Here we go, people. Let me set the phone down for a second. If you if you don't mind, I'm gonna set it down. And we're gonna pick out these trees. We'll go for the biggest and brightest. Look at this nice guy here. You take it upside down, make sure there's no pests, there are no pests on it, and then gently separate it without messing the roots up. Pull it out of here. Oh, there's a lizard egg. I don't want to hurt the lizard. Little lizard egg there. Okay, that, that's going to sell as a plug right there. That's very strong and well-rooted. Let's get that lizard egg back in there real safe. Oh, no. Little buddy, I don't want you to get hurt. It's going to fall down further. I moved the egg around. I think it'll be fine. It's just at the soil surface. Looks like they plant their, their eggs. There's one. This is another one. It's really nice right here. Let's see if I can get it. It's a two pack. Two pack secure. Look at that, how big that is. That's bigger than a plug. So I'll have these on the website. I might have to raise the price to 30. But I think they're at 25 now. Um, let's see if I can pull this guy off right here on the corner. Look for lizard eggs, y'all. It's just a no-kill operation. We look out for spiders, lizards, rats, squirrels. Yeah, that came off real nice. Yeah, that's like a plug. So that's your third. Get these weeds out of here, folks. Look for lizards. Okay. So look at this nursery stock here. You see how these come out? Real nice. Solid root balls bigger than a plug more root space than a plug you just got to keep them together without beating them up too much so those are them okay i got those three let's get these in the shade and add to this pile of plants here so if someone got an extra tossed in there that little guy you could separate that out we get these wrapped up with that green plastic put them in the mail take a look at some of these other trees over here get this on the shelf chilling right there don't fall. If it falls, the roots get knocked all apart. Okay. This is a red sugar apple. The um, big red sugar apple. And every year it looks like it's going to die. And then it comes right back looking really good. But see, this whole thing was dead looking like sticks. And it looks really good right now. Yeah, I've had it for years. You see how it died back all the way to the root, to the graft one time. Let's take a look at what else we got on this list. All right, one, two, three. We need a, a 14 to 18 inch Batanga tuba. And now I have one over here. I believe it's got flowers on it though. There's some nice ones right here. This would be a really nice 14 to 18, 18 inch right here. We just gotta make sure there's no pests on the roots. And I have another one. I'll let the audience decide well, I think I can make the decision for them. This would be the better of the two. The other is a little taller, but this one looks a little prettier altogether. I think we'll send this one, but let's go ahead and flip it upside down. Make sure there's nothing crawling on the roots or anything, because otherwise I have to go find a different one here. Give me one second.
you look in the pot for anything crawling around in the pot and of course you look at the roots make sure there's nothing crawling on the roots this has got really clean healthy roots this thing is ready to ship out it's pest free not a damn thing on it besides the TLC I've showered it with buddy you believe that that's gonna go as your 14 to 18 inch that's ready to fruit now this year or next I've got some this size that are fruiting but I'm trying to hang on to them to sell them on eBay or even on my website I'll have a little section that's says guaranteed to have flowers or some shit but I don't think there's any flowers on it now but it's a really pretty little tree I, I like the shape of it the leaf is kind of elongated uh, it looks kind of cool we'll go ahead and put that on our pile over here and then we'll take another look at our list and see what we need to add to it. Let's see what else we got over here, buddy. We're going to have to get tropical apricot. That's it. A tropical apricot. That ends the, that ends it right there. A tropical apricot does it. Ooh, Clark's really getting good, good at watering. It's getting real good. I need another flowering patanga tubo. I've got one out there for sale. I just got to figure out the price. Look at these mangoes are almost ready. The uh, pickering, pickle ring. That's what they called it. Fuck. The fuck. The wind blew this shit over my graft. And this is, this is bad. You don't want to break your graft. I got rare plants and like the wind blew this damn net. That pissed me me off really bad right there oh, i can't have that happen again this one had flowers on it i don't think i sold it yet but this one is flowering mango seeds are fine oh look my, my variegated uh grafted variegated garcinia is coming out those are hard to graft man all i get is failure on these that's expensive little tree right there and i think this is a uh, anomaly hybrid probably i can't tell i don't know who I don't know. That's my Mike Tyson impression. Okay, now someone, they didn't pay enough for the shipping for me to go big, but I want to get them a nice plant that's pest free. This one looks really pretty. Let's do the pest check. Gotta always peck for chests. Dang, I can't get this phone to balance on anything for nothing and I need two hands for this operation give me one second bear with me bear with me sit inside wait boys in the days see some creepy crawlies I'm looking for ants really so oh lizard egg Ooh, that makes me sad to think can I send lizard eggs I probably should pick those lizard eggs out and feed them to my chickens no, the, the plant is clean. But you're risking the hurting the lizard. I see a lot of lizard egg on here. Let's see. There's a little lizard egg in here. Wait. I'm going to drop the lizard egg, I think. Yeah, I did. I dropped the lizard egg. I don't think it broke, but... A little tiny lizard egg. I'll put it back in a different pot there. It didn't break. Then another little lizard egg. You think about that, I bet you they hatch in transit sometimes. Yeah, this one's clean, good to ship. I didn't break the eggs, so I think they have a chance at least. But we put the eggs back over there. We'll take a look at the Potomba tuba really quick. The hybrid. Oh, it's flowering quite well. You know what I've been neglecting to do is graft any. I should have been grafting these, and I probably will start. But look at these flowers. I should be cross-pollinating. Now, <clears throat> let me smell these. Okay, when you smell the flowers, it has none of the Patanga tuba smell at all. It smells like honey or like sweet perfume, but not the same as a Patanga tuba. More like a Potomba, I suppose, but even a little different than the Potomba. I really like the way this tree is behaving. Uh, it's flowering a lot more than a Potomba would, for sure. Potomba's done flowering. It's got these deep, dark green leaves. Look at this. Bird feather in here. 
scum. Like literally bird feather. How did he do that? There's some setting up here. You can see the ovary. Ooh, this is a fun tree. Flowers smell real good. This one put off a fruit, but it was real small. It tasted okay. It tasted a lot like the other one. Yeah, I see one hanging on there. They're like real funny looking. It was real small and it didn't have a seed. So this one's still in progress. I tasted the fruit and it was okay for being a runt. But then this one's the beast right now that's been doing really well. We're going to start to graft it here real soon. I just want to get one more round of flowers and fruit off it before I start snipping at it. I don't really want to cut off of this too much. But we'll probably just take some lower branches. This kind of shit down here. Some of the little tiny and do some micro grafts. I got to knock that out before it's too late. Ah. I dropped the phone. Ah. Sorry if, I, if we lost the stream. Sometimes when you drop the phone, lose the stream. That's everything for plants today. Let's freaking go. Look at all these. Look at the fruit set is incredible on that. Every flower turns into a fruit on the lemon drop mangosteen. Every flower makes a fruit. That's what you call perfect synchronization of your flowers. I don't know what it's called, but it's really cool to see it when everything makes a fruit. And I've been waiting on these to ripen up and it's frustrating because they sit there, they get big, they look pretty, they're hard as a rock. This one may be getting soft. No, it's not soft. Got a little dark spot there. No, it's not dark, it's green. Ah, these are frustrating how long they've taken to turn ripe. And I had them, I had them uh, rot on me, one or two rotted. Where the seeds were viable, but the fruit fermented. So those are a little more difficult to fruit than a lemon drop mangosteen. This one over here's got fruit set on it, my grafted tree. So it's a grafted one that started to flower and fruit finally. It took like five years, I think, maybe more. From a little tiny scion I took off of an immature tree. So the tree wasn't mature when I grafted it. But yeah, it's got like five or six fruits set on it. It's double grafted. See, I should be cross-pollinating that Potomba. What you do is you take this right here, this flower. Make sure it's shedding pollen. I don't think it's shedding pollen. Pollen ain't ripe on it, guys. You got to get a flower with pollen that's ripe. That's coming off. I don't see much pollen coming off. Anyway, pollen isn't ripe on it. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, what size pot is it in? Do you normally hand pollinate? No, no. No, I don't normally hand pollinate the Patanga tuba at all. I just was trying to do it to cross pollinate for my Potomba tuba. Just to try to get some pollen on there and make it set fruit more. But I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't cross hand pollinate my Patanga tubas. It just takes time, I think. If you get one that flowers for more than three years and doesn't set fruit, then you can start to think about top working it or just. Maybe just burn the tree at the stake. Send me a nasty letter and I'll send you something in return, some scions or something. They're, I don't know what it is. That, that's why, honestly, I, I started selling them in packs of like three or four, like or two or three at least in the pot when I would sell them. I'd like to sell multiples. It's really how they should be sold is three seeds per pot. That's my opinion. I might start doing that again. The one I'm getting out today is a single Maybe I should just grab them an extra. Shit, I don't know. But we got these trees. I gotta wrap up real quick. I'm gonna go into this shitting room. There's two, okay, that's good. 
the, you'll be fine. It's just gonna take a minute. It's just weird how it does that. This is the last room that I need to clean. Okay. Don't fall. There's my my soil bucket. Yeah. You know, too, is it, are you real dry out there? I think humidity may help. Like, when it's flowering, like, wet it down. Wet the flowers down. Wet the whole plant down. Like, don't be afraid to get the flowers wet, is what I would say. Yeah, it's all nice and green. They should, they should bite, too. That's great. I like problem, dude. You should have known that. You should have bought six, bro. It's an odd game. Free. I might have to hand clean some seeds too far along probably by now. Let's take a look. Smells really good. They're just starting to germinate, but dude, I got to get these sold soon. I'll, 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 I'll restock the website, but these have, these have got to be shipped out within the next uh, week or planted. But I got like 500 red jabbity kava seeds right there that are starting to germinate. Got a ton of really nice Patanga tuba seeds. I mean, hundreds, of hundreds and hundreds of them, which I will probably plant them out. Uh, I'm looking for scarlet. Scarlet, that's labeled scarlet. What are these? Grimmel. I got Grimmel seeds. Hmm. I gotta plant those. We gotta plant them. Alright. I think that's it. We're good. Yeah. I gotta clean up some. I gotta go clean some scarlets. Let's go do that right quick. Grab them out of the fridge. I don't think you want to leave them sitting in the fridge for too long, but these are still good. So I just had an order for those. Now I need a bucket to put them in. Yeah. Won't you meow about it? I'm in trouble here, guys. I need to find some perlite. Couple of Eugenia Daisy Blasta seeds went in there, the Uniflora's. I should be able to sort them out if they're in there, but at worst, you'll just get one extra. You'll say, what the hell is this one, dude? I got something so rare. Nah, he just threw in a, a Daisy Blasta seed by accident. It happens. Yeah, I see it right there. I got to get that out of there. It'll be easy to sort them out. They're dry. I see a couple in there. Little tiny things. There it is. Get out of there. There's another one. Dang. Two. <laughs> three. Shit. That one's starting to germinate. Surprised I didn't hurt that seed more. It's another one. Four. Oops. Jeez Louise, I didn't realize I had so many seeds. Five. Whoopsie. Six. I think that's it. Seven. Dang, I'm blowing it. Eight. Nine. Damn. Them seeds hide. 
All right, now we're getting somewhere. 10, yep, a little tiny 10 bagger. No, that's not 10, that's a piece of perlite. I see one in there floating around still. These gotta be further clean. Oh, sorry, I forgot I was streaming. Yeah, just sit here and clean them by hand like this and you rub the pulp off. And then probably got to hit them with some detergent. Get some mild detergent. I'll put them on once I get them kind of cleaned up a little better. That detergent's going to just keep any fungus and mold from growing on them. But it does help. I think something about the, what is it? It's probably some kind of acid or something, right? There's another one of those stupid Patanga seeds in there. Hold on one second. Anyhow, yeah, I'm just thumbing these around, getting the pulp off, doing my thing. I'm going to have to uh, restock on these. I don't think I've got enough to sell anymore. Got some seedlings that are almost ripe on these, though. Ripe. <laughs> Ready to sell. Anybody watching the stock market today? Volatility index. Man, I, I bought shorts on the, what is it now? VIX long leverage two times, UVIX. Man, I'm down. I was down. I got to look at that. Probably a bad move. Hell no. Shit, buddy. These are almost clean. I'm gonna have to run back inside one more time and hit them with uh, some detergent just to bring it all home. And I gotta get some fresh perlite up in here, man. This perlite's not really, it's, you can't, you don't wanna send it with the first, the batch of perlite you used to clean it with is gonna have all that fruit pulp on it and be more likely to get moldy. So you wanna clean out your, change out your perlite for when you ship it is fresh perlite. Mold's okay. I mean, I think it helps break down the seed coat and it's part of the biology and all that, but you want to reduce from the fungus. Whatever. They still germinate. Just plant them. Don't worry about it. Okay, these are almost clean. Perlite's a miraculous product. Chickens eat it. No problem good for cleaning your hands and it's a good abrasive they put it in some of like the scrubbing products soft scrub it's like bleach with perlite in it did you know that that's what that is those that abrasive they add in there is literally chunks of perlite think about it it's like little pieces of glass that are soft enough to not cut you but they clean Any, yeah, there should be fruit for sale soon. Yes, I'm talking a lot of lemon drop mangosteen, uh, freeze-dried fruit coming up. I'm just calibrating my machine right now. And yes, I will have everything for sale. Yes, I will. By golly, yes, I will. I got to get some... Uh, we're going to have red Java kava for sale. We're going to have... I'll sell some other, whatever rare fruit I can sell. I will. Oh, you better believe it. Into a phase of selling. You, yeah, the lemon drops are fun, aren't they? They're fun. You just sit down with the family and just sour power, man. The red jars and seeds are strong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are a bunch of seedlings out here that I got a wholesale. All guys over here. I got to spruce them up a little bit, but those are reds. Oh, look at this soil got saturated. This this bucket is full. But now I just need a little perlite out of here. Uh, you want to keep your perlite dry. Can I get some perlite? 
I need something to put it in that's not non-porous. This would work really well. Provided there's not ants on it. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Might need to find something different. I don't want to accidentally have an ant in this perlite. Let's take a look. Is there a single ant on this? Oh, wait. They hide so well. They're so, they love to be on plastic and in between plastic and things. This looks really clean, man. This looks clean enough to eat out of. I think we're good. One second. Big bag of white powder, man, on the block. Keep my people happy, man. You know I'm selling these white rock, man. Woo! Better not report me either, dog. Better not, because I'm going to know who snitched on me, dog. I straight run this game, G. Keep on pushing. I wish I could play that, but they don't let you. I'll pay the copyright. You don't want to read this stuff in. Mm. You know, I didn't grab the detergent. Probably not going to be necessary. Let's pick out some really nice seeds for this person. They got 10. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then a couple extra. Two extra nice seeds right there. So you got about 12 seeds, a bunch of perlite. It's gonna keep them nice and from getting moldy. It's a little much on the perlite actually. No, oh, I just lost three seeds giving him that perlite back. Extra perlite's not going to really hurt anything. It's just actually more cushion, more insulation. So those are your scarlet seeds. Ten pack, twelve, right? Twelve. All right. Let's write that down on there. Damn, I moved all my markers. All right. Scarlet. Keep on pushing. All right. Next. Got to get my list out. Look at my list. These Rosa de Pescos plugs I got. This ain't gonna last forever. That's nice. And then we get it nice and wrapped up here. Keep that root ball real solid. Gentle. Add a little tension there to ball it up. It's like making a sand castle. Pull that off of the leaves there. And then we're almost done. One more kind of pull tight there. And then, uh. 
And see that that didn't grow in a plug. It came out of a one gallon, four of them, but the roots weren't intertwined. They're really solid. That's a nice tree. Let's show you another one. Oh, wow. Solid root ball, look, solid. Nice. There's two in there actually. Right over like that, hold it tight. And then just over. I can still ship these in a freaking flat rate box, a small flat rate box. If I can fit it in there, I'll, I'll ship it in there. But that will definitely fit in a small flat rate box. By the time I'm done with it, get it compressed like that, buddy. And you put that in a small flat rate, it squeezes in like that and bends over like that. So you could fit that in a small box like that. Mm. Another one. Let's look at this last one here. Plinia fetranta variety, Rosa de Pescos. You know, I guess some of these could be hybridized and I just wouldn't know it. You'll find out. They all look crazy. They all look a little different. That's just the way fetranthas do. But I had these sitting next to like anomalies and grimmels. Who knows what the hell you can get out of me. I can't plant every one. So the, the chances for me accidentally selling something I shouldn't have go up more and more each year. And I see that happen with the Potomba tuba. I just can't keep up. I've been trying to hold on to things that I think are special, but a lot of times you just don't know what's special because you have to fruit it and you can't guess by just looking at it. You can make a lot of, you can make a lot of assumptions and, and come to some pretty good conclusions if you're skilled enough by just looking at the plant. But then sometimes that's, that's just not gonna happen. You're gonna have to grow it all the way out. And I don't have time to grow it all the way out. And then, yeah, I mean, some trees just look the same as others until they fruit. And you're like, oh shit, it's fruits twice as much or it's seedless or the fruits three times the size. You just don't know it until it happens. That's that Patanga tubo. And then here's this. Tropical apricot. Oh. Come here, buddy. These are, do like to fall apart a little bit if you're not careful with them. Really easy to grow. A little more plastic on that one again. Keep on pushing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that transfer apricot there. Okay. Fuck! I dropped it. It didn't break. It's fine. Don't worry. The postman did it, not me. Everything's gonna work out. Let's get these labeled up and people know what they are. <sighs> it's just one of them days that a girl goes through. Remember that? I sing that song to myself. Even though I'm not a girl. Isn't that weird? Okay, tropical. Something's going on outside. Hold up, hold up.
Open it, all right. The camera goes. Oh. I wondered about you. Where were you been? Huh? Huh, baby? Something's attacking my chickens out there. You want to do some work? Look, I write labels out. Rosa de Escobarinia. That's me. Think you could do that for me? She did the growl. I've got some other items. I've got a label and pack. Give me one second here, guys. You're gonna be fine. Okay, we got 10 red Java de Cava seeds, and that's the last thing. Oh, you're just a little buddy. 10 red jar bitty kava seeds. We're gonna need this over here. We're gonna need to put a label on that. You're my new work helper, Red. We'll give this person extra for waiting. Oh, we gotta send the person Eugenia Ligastrina. Remember Eugenia Ligastrina? Eugenia. They're in my pocket. Liga. Strina. All right, those are in my pocket. Unless I lost them, they're gone. Shit, that means I gotta go. I got some inside the house I can give them. I got another pack I can give them. I lost them somehow. Must have fallen out of my pocket. Those are Grimmel. They're probably right here in this room. I don't see them, do you? You probably would be the one to find them. No, those are gone. We'll have to go and, and get them a different set. Um, red Java de Cava seeds, here they are right here. Make sure to give them extras. You like to pick at perlite, I know that. Look at that. What would you get out of there? There's mold in there, don't breathe that. There's no mold in there. There's perlite though. You want to eat a seed? This person got extra. Don't eat that. Bad boy. She wants to jump down. I can feel it. She's thinking about it. She's plotting her course. But if she jumps down, she'll probably take a shit. So I'm going to let her out the front door. But she's definitely like looking around. Thinking of all the other places, the things that she could be doing, and then sitting here as I'm shipping. Yeah, you got business to attend to. You got life. There's something out there killing chickens, though, man. Isn't it safer just to hunker down in here with Uncle Adam? Buddy? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. flying chicken farm is there such thing as a chicken that can fly one time one of my chickens there was a coyote attack like a couple days before where eight chickens died or more in like 30 minutes i went to my friend's house during the middle of the day came back and all my chickens are eat up by coyotes killed just dead everywhere but some of them flew, flew up in the tree to save themselves because i was like where'd they go and I'm looking around and I see them like 20 feet up in the trees. Yeah, man, well, so what happened is after, after the coyotes attacked my chicken, the chickens had like PTSD and I threw the Frisbee or something for Rex and Rex came running 
and one of them had a flashback, you know, to the coyotes, and it was like, dog coming, and it, it flew, like, literally, I'm not trying to exaggerate, let's see, how long's a football field, 300 yards, it flew, like, a hundred yards, like a football pass, like, and, and the whole way it went, it went, like, the whole way, and it just kept going straight, like a football pass, it was the craziest thing I've ever seen, Yeah, it was on some PTSD shit where it just saw Rex running for the Frisbee and it was like, oh shit, it's coming to the She's sneezing because of the prolate. We got to get you back outside. I got you off your course. I should put you back where you belong. Can you assimilate over here? I'll put you back on the other side of the house. Give me one second. I got to put her back where she is. She can't assimilate over here. seemed kind of pissed to be going back outside. She was like, wait a second. Okay. Now I just got to find these Eugenia Ligastrina seeds and we're good to go. But that was pretty easy shipping day, I'd say. Not too bad. I'm still behind probably on my website. I'm not all the way caught up on the orders. But I, I know I've got some Ligastrina seeds in here somewhere. I just pulled them. I don't want to walk back out to the greenhouse, to be honest. Kaylee, Daisy Blaster, Daisy Blaster, Lega Stream. There you go. I knew I had him. Need some water, hydrate. You know what I did last night? I forgot to tell you. That's that chicken. I can tell by her voice. The one we were just hanging out with, Peach White Owl. I took the freeze-dried Patanga tuba and I got my pork going in the pan. I had a pork chop I cooked and I smothered it with the freeze-dried uh, the freeze-dried fruit. And it really, it came out really nice. And another thing I did is I, I mixed it, the freeze-dried fruit with something a little sweet. It's just with a little sugar or like added to something, it really goes the distance. Like a lot of people are just not gonna enjoy them alone in the same way that, you know, you, you don't eat like lemons by themselves, but they're really good. And people in mass amounts of people would eat them if you just add a little sugar or sweeten it or add it to a dish or sell it just as the juice, you know? But as soon as you try to feed it to somebody as a fresh fruit, there's going to be resistance from probably 30 to 60% of the people you feed it to. That's been my observation. But just as you would a lemon, you know what I mean? So if you certain groups all love it, it's like 80% of the people enjoy it. And then other group, it's like 50% enjoy it. It just depends on the demographic, I guess. Who's eating it. The town, the people in the town. But I think we're pretty good on the stream, guys. I'm about to uh, simmer down and just kind of wrap these up and get them to where I need them. This needs a little perlite. Thanks for watching. We're going to be doing the uh, auctions here again on uh, Thursday night, ending on Sunday. Auction did pretty well. It's always surprising me to see what sells.
Oh, by the way, you're welcome. This is something too. If you're on eBay, if you're a new user to eBay and you have 0% feedback, make sure to try to get a hold of me on the stream to let me know that you're going to bid. Because what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll look for who's bidding. And if I see it's someone who has 0% feedback, I'll probably cancel the bid. Because I'm, I'm, I'm done dealing with people that have 0% feedback that don't that don't pay so that's not going to be a thing where like yo let me know if you have 0% feedback on eBay and you're bidding try to let me know somehow because your shit may get canceled I'll just reach in and cancel it if I don't know you and you have no depth no history the way eBay works it doesn't protect the sellers only protects the buyers I've got a way here where I have to do it myself. You know. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really want to talk about it too much. But I've got a way now to, to monitor things. I, I, I just was behind. I had to call and ask. And You know, I've been a member at eBay for 19 years. Isn't it? Yeah. 19 years. Loyal customer. 19 years. Yeah. Look at my, look at my, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I got to finish up. Thanks for watching.